You know, it's funny. Lynn Palos had a lot of influence on my style when um, I first started working on Scandal in, after season one. <laughs> <laughs> went out and I bought like three huge Vince sweaters that were drapey that just like covered everything and um, and I've I definitely have more leather jackets in my wardrobe now that a couple um, now that I've been playing Abby um, and it's funny because as Abby goes through trends I do find it bleeding into my life a little bit um, you know with her sort of um, expressing her femininity a little bit more Abby I'm Occasionally, I'll wear a little bit more jewelry than I used to, so it's, it's, I tend to be influenced by what's going on around me. Well, I'm working with Anita Patrickson. She is my stylist, and she, uh, I feel like she really gets me. I mean, I have a real specific sense of what I like and who I am, you know, some real basics like I like to wear fabric that has a lot of oomph and texture and weight um, or I don't like to wear too many ruffles I like things that have a more masculine edge to them I like an edgy edge mm -hmm. to my uh, feminine design so if it's um, a dress that might have a touch of leather in it or something um, so there are some like real basic bullet points about myself that I feel like Anita Patrickson just gets so we have a lot of fun and Yet she's also pushed me in certain ways that maybe I wouldn't just pick it off the rack and say, oh, I'll wear that. I've borrowed at times from Lynn Powell, she'll let me borrow sometimes, but no, it's really, um, you know, you're just wearing it for that moment or that event. Um, a designer did recently gift me uh, a jumpsuit, George Hobieka. Uh, I've worn a few of his designs, and he recently gave me something that I wore, and I was like, wow, <laughs> this is for me? Oh, it's so exciting. So that was a huge compliment. That, <laughs> so yeah, occasionally. That has to be one of the, the most exciting, well, one of the many exciting things about your job is yeah. you get to actually meet the designers that make yes. these insane clothes yeah. that only, people only dream of wearing, right? Sure, yeah. And especially, you know, when you get to wear like a, something straight off the runway that's not even out in stores, that can be kind of exciting too to, you know, see your photo right next to like what it looked like on the runway. And I mean, it's, you yeah, sure. I mean, every girl dreams about stuff like that. So it's fun. I want to wear this one again. You should wear that one. Again. I mean, I feel like we only wore. Didn't we wear? Yeah. I don't know why that was going to happen for some reason. Mm -hmm. Spectacular. It's like when she's really investigating tough. jacket. Yeah. You know, it really is. With Abby being it tough. Is when she's out. Or out with a client. You know, out like with grilling one of our clients. I think that's six. Green leather coats, though, I have to tell oh, you. Oh, do I? Yeah, I think you do. Okay. We should go in the other room at some point. But you haven't Paula. seen it all together, have you? No, For a while? I haven't. It's grown. Oh. You wouldn't even see it. Oh. Have we, we 